It's that wonderful time of year again. It's time to celebrate another year of accomplishments. And congratulations to the graduates of 2015 and to those who participate in wonderful programs like the Spring Review. And Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus would like to invite everyone in for the perfect gift for the graduates this year. From a wonderful selection of graduation charms to the delightful choices in Angelica bracelets. Make special memories with your choice of birthstone rings. And right now, diamond engagement rings are 50% off. Randolph and Manning would like to take this opportunity to congratulate Soraya and her performance in the Mockingbirds this year. Keep up the good work, Soraya. And to all the graduates of 2015, congratulations and good luck in the future. From Randolph's Shamrock Shopping Center in Dublin, Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus, 275-0427. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm out here today at East Lawrence High School. The class of 2015 will be graduating here in just a few days. And today is picnic day on the campus of East Lawrence High School. And it's actually not on the campus. They're going to be going to a secret location. They won't even tell the seniors where it is. They're going to be having a lot of fun today, but a lot of excitement on campus. We're going to be talking to some of the seniors at East Lawrence High School coming up right after this. Hello everybody and welcome. I'm glad to be out here at East Lawrence High School. It is picnic day, so all the kids are dressed down, excited, only a few days left of school. I have with me, first of all, Justin Graham. Justin, what kind of emotions are running through you right now? Joy. <laughs> a lot of joy. <laughs> Relief that it's finally over. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm a senior in high school. I turned 18 last month, so I finally got to get my license. Um, been in the honors program all four years of high school, and I'm joining the Marines. Wow. What made you do that? Join the Marines? Mm -hmm. um, my uncle mm -hmm. on both sides of my family and my grandfathers all went to the military, so it's kind of family tradition. Plus, I just want to protect the country. And I chose Marines because it's apparently the hardest, and I like a challenge. And I think you got one uncle who's a dear friend of ours here at the TV station. Yes, sir. Tell me I about do. him. Uh, Charles Wells, he's a very, very smart man. <laughs> Fortunately, this is TV, so I can't say anything mean about him. <laughs> Otherwise, I would. <laughs> um, he worked with y'all for a while, I know, just as a camera guy, but uh -huh. I love him to death and he's one of my favorite uncles. Well, being a smart guy is an understatement. <laughs> so, that really is. I uh, mean, yeah, yeah, we need a better word than that, but uh, he is a really, really smart guy, great guy. But what you going to miss most about East Lawrence? Um, the people. Mm -hmm. The people here, it's like a, all the teachers, they're more like family to me than teachers. Mm -hmm. They've just been really helpful throughout my four years of high school. And tell me some of the teachers. I kind of like to ask a favorite teacher, but some of the teachers who have really made an impact on um, you. Miss Deborah Gillis. She mm -hmm. doesn't teach her anymore, mm -hmm. but she helped me a lot my ninth and tenth grade year. Uh, Miss Newman and Miss Kerr both have helped me a lot, and Mr. Knight. Okay. While he is relatively new, he has helped me a lot this year with visits. Mm -hmm. And when do you go into basic training with the Marines? I leave in October, October 19th. Okay, you better enjoy this summer, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I was supposed to leave in the summer, but I did not want to go to Paris Island in mm -hmm. August. It just didn't seem like a good idea to me. Okay, can you tell Justin's happy? Congratulations, oh, yeah. Thank brother. Thank you, sir. Next, I have with me Evan Stinson. I, I, I told you off camera you're doing some advertising for your daddy here and, yes, and granddaddy, but uh, uh, you have a long tradition here at East Orange High School. I... I remember when your daddy was born, I've been knowing your grandparents my whole life and uh, deep roots here on the east side of the river. Yes, sir. What kind of emotions are you having about graduating? Um, it's a, kind of a bittersweet thing. You know, I'm going to miss it, but I'm ready to get out and get me a good job and get started with life, you know. Mm -hmm. But I still want to stay here in high school and, you know, <laughs> hang out with my friends every day. So. Yeah, it's tough. I know it is mixed emotions. Football, we really enjoyed watching these last few years on the football field. I know you're going to miss that, aren't you? Um, I won't miss summer practices and workouts <laughs> and all, but I'll miss Friday nights being with all my football family. You know, I consider them family because I'm with them 24-7 during the summer and, you know, hang out with them more than I do with my own family sometimes, you know. So, How did it feel to you during high school? Because it is such a great time. You'll figure out later 
it's some of the best years of your life as you get down the road. But how does it feel to you on Friday night? You come out and that crowd hollering and, and you coming to represent East Lawrence High School. Um, it's a it's a feeling that's really hard to explain. You kind of have to experience it yourself, but it's one of the best feelings you'll ever you'll ever fear feel knowing that everybody's looking at you to perform well, and then you know you win some, you lose some kind of thing, but you just like you gotta zone it out sometimes and mm -hmm. do the best you can do. Teaches you a lot about life, don't it? Yes, sir. It teaches you never to quit. Teaches you to keep moving on no matter what. And what did you think these last few weeks, uh, the kids out there at spring practice, did you miss? I know you just said that you wasn't going to miss the summer practices, but it had to be a little tough on you. I know you love football. Oh, yes, sir. You know, it's always the first day everybody always looks forward to it. And then about the middle of the, about <laughs> the, middle of the summer, everybody's always dreading waking up early, going to practice, you know, getting out there after lunch, you know. It's always fun to start back, and it's always fun to play, but, you know, putting in the work takes extra time, takes mm -hmm. extra, like, body strength. And the will to keep going on is just hard sometimes, but you got to push through it and persevere. So do you think you'll continue? Because you've, you've been hitting them weights pretty hard the last four or five years. Do you think that's something you'll continue after you graduate? Um... Not knowing that I don't have a coach on my back the whole time, it'll be hard. But I think, you know, once three times a week, I might, you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It, we'll just find, <laughs> see when we get there. And what plans do you have after high school? Um, Right now I've been accepted into ABAC, and I'm going to go in and do their wildlife uh, mm. courses. And I'll be mandated up there, and then I'll become a game warden. Oh, great occupation. I know Dan Stiles, he's watching. He's one of our uh, natural resources guy. He'll love that. What a great career, though, and what a great, especially for country boys like us. I've always said it'd be cool to be a game warden. Yes, There's sir. no doubt. But to be out in nature like that and to, uh, for, you, for your office to be wildlife. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've always looked forward to being outside for a career. I always said I'd never sit at, sit behind a desk and write papers all day, so mm. <laughs> that just seemed like the most logical thing for me to do. Next, I have with me Katie Sutton, and it is picnic day, end of school. All you're doing is having fun. Are the test over? Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I got finals. Oh, really? Yeah. And are you ready for finals? No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> are you ready to graduate? Yes. That's the only thing. That's the only reason I'm here. <laughs> And the, you don't have mixed emotions or anything. You don't want to drag it out any longer. You're ready to graduate. No, I'm ready. I've been ready for like four years. <laughs> and uh, you have a long history here. Your family here at East Lawrence High School, but you've been going here your whole life. Yes. So over the past many years, they may not be teachers here anymore, but and some may, but who are some of the teachers over your 12 years here at East Lawrence who's made an impact on your life? Coach Smallin. He was my driver's oh, ed teacher. What a great, what a great teacher. Yeah. Yeah. And Miss Morris, she's young. I don't know if you know her. Yes. But I love her. Um, Miss Mitchell, she's not here anymore. She's my favorite teacher mm -hmm. ever. She made, she taught me math, mm -hmm. and I'm good at it now. Well, I know who your family is, but tell everybody watching who. Tell them a little bit about your family. Um, Marnie Warnick is my mom. Claude Sutton is my father. Mm -hmm. Robert Sutton. I'm sure everybody knows him That's around right. here. Um, well, they're great. Middle Georgia Road Builders is who they work for. That's right. And anybody looking at her can tell she looks just like her mama. So <laughs> she can't deny you, can she? No, she can't. <laughs> I look like her. I knew, yeah, I knew when I saw you. I told Joel, I said, yeah, uh, there's no doubt who that is. So. <laughs> but uh, what are you going to miss most about East Lawrence? Being able to, like, come here and see my friends, probably. That's the most thing. The only thing, really. <laughs> And what does today consist of? I know it's picnic day. We used to have senior skip day. Is that still around or am I just an old Oh, that's bogey? before prom. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pic I don't know. I don't know. I've never done the picnic thing. It's okay. just for seniors. <laughs> um, you finally qualified, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I'm ready to eat. So what you going to do after school? Uh, go to college. Where? Here my first two years and then okay. Milledgeville. Okay. From all the employees at Flex Steel Industries, congratulations to all the graduates from East Lawrence High School, West Lawrence High School, Dublin High School, and Trinity Christian School. Congratulations, graduates. 
Next I have with me Charlie Lake. Charlie, uh, uh, it seems like everybody I'm talking to has a rich tradition here at East Lawrence High School. I actually graduated with Jan. Uh, that tells you how old we are, don't it? <laughs> I told her off camera she looks like Hershey, and I think you get that a lot, don't you? I do. I get it all the time. Yeah, and it just seems like yesterday, and you'll find this out, time just flies after you graduate. Mm -hmm. And and we graduated in 78, and it seems like just yesterday we were graduating from East Lawrence High School, and now, and you wouldn't even thought of then, and here you are graduating. What you think about that? I don't really, <laughs> I don't know. I still, it hadn't hit me yet that I'm graduating. Mm -hmm. I still can't believe it. What are you going to miss most about after you graduate from East Lawrence? Probably being in touch with everyone, you know, because you always fall out of touch after mm -hmm. high school. And I have so much family here and so much friends. I'm going to miss them. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you've been here all 12 years. Mm -hmm. And over those 12 years, I don't like to ask a favorite teacher. It's kind of hard to pin that down. But over the last 12 years, might have been first grade, whatever, but who's some of the teachers who's made an impact on your life? One of my favorite teachers is our driver's ed teacher, Coach Smallin. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really, he was always straightforward with you. He wouldn't, he wouldn't lie to your face. He'd tell you mm -hmm. how it is. And I always liked him. And um, Miss Rowland, mm -hmm. she was my tennis coach, and I guess we just formed a bond there. You know, she's another teacher. She'll tell you how it is, you know, you're going to fail or you're not going to fail. <laughs> That's pretty much how it is with her. And isn't that great, that honesty, though? I mean, mm -hmm. that's a good thing to teach you in life, too. you well, got to be honest. Yeah, you don't want false hope. That's right. And Coach Small, and somebody else already said his name, but I love him. I hate he's retiring this year. I Because I know the kids are going to miss him. Mm -hmm. I mean, because he is fun to be around. I don't care where I run into him in town. Mm -hmm. He's one of them people will cross the street to speak to you. You know, he's such a, mm -hmm. a nice guy, and you've had to enjoy him, not only as a teacher, but I'm sure he's a mm -hmm. friend to y'all. He is. He comes to sit with us at lunch every day, and it's just, just talking to him every day, it, it makes you feel better. Mm -hmm. And I know you got a great support family, and especially uh, that sweet grandma and grandpa, <laughs> Miss Linda. I just, she used to haul us around everywhere. She had a station wagon when I was in high <laughs> school, and she would haul us everywhere in that thing. But her and Mr. Emery, uh, I know you got great grandparents. Mm -hmm. I love my grandparents. I try to spend as much time as possible with them. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that. What you gonna do after school? I'm going to. I'm going to start at Middle Georgia mm -hmm. and take my core classes to become a vet tech. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Mm -hmm. And you love tennis. I do. Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing tennis? Since my sixth grade year. And most people assume by now who your parents are, but go ahead and I've said just about your whole family, but tell everybody, I know who they are, but tell everybody who your parents are. My parents are Dwayne and Gay Lake. Okay. Now I have with me Kayla Register. Kayla, it seems like everybody I've talked to has a rich tradition here at East Lawrence. Same with you. So your family, East Orange Falcon, East here Orange you are in East Orange Falcon, and and a senior. How about that? I love it. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> so what kind of emotions are running through you right now about graduation? I'm excited, but then I'm sad at the same time because I know I'll miss high school, mm -hmm. but I'm ready to move on to bigger and better things. What you going to move on to? College. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Middle Georgia here in Dublin mm -hmm. and pursue a nursing degree. Wow, good. And uh, I know who you folks are, but tell everybody watching us, about, tell them about your family and siblings and all. My mama's name is Pat Register, and my daddy's name is Gary Register. He graduated from West Lawrence, but she graduated from East Lawrence. We won't all hold her that against Oh, no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all her family graduated from East Lawrence. <laughs> That's fine. I married a Dublin girl, and my nephew's graduating from West Lawrence. I tell them we won't hold that against them just because they're not a falcon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who's some teachers that's made an impact on you over the last 12 years? Miss Washburn has had a real big impact on me mm -hmm. this year. I've called her mama since the day I walked in her classroom, and I love her and my driver's ed teacher. He's taught not just driver's ed things, just so many other things. And Oh, well, there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. I just love them all. I mean, I've never had a teacher that I just didn't like. I like them all. Well, that's that's a great compliment to the staff <laughs> here at East Lawrence. Oh, yes. Of course, it's got a lot to do with the student, too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a two-way street, you know, and I know you see that in school. But think about next week when you're walking down that football field, walking across there and looking up at all those people. 
what do you think is going to happen? What what what's going to be your feelings when you're walking across that field? I think at first it's going to be all smiles, and then before the night's over, I'm going to be crying my eyes out. I'm going to be excited, but then I'm going to be at the same time like, oh, this is the last time I'll walk across this stage, mm -hmm. and this is this is it. I mean, mm -hmm. I could always come back to visit, but it's never the same. No, and I've been back so many times over the last 36 years <laughs> or so since I graduated. It is not the same, but... It always feels good walking back out here and seeing all these falcons. Mm -hmm. And that's what's good about talking with y'all is because uh, I'm telling you, time's going to fly. Once it you has graduate. already. <laughs> <laughs> you, I feel like I should be starting <laughs> high school instead of graduating. Isn't that amazing? It's crazy. What are I, you going to miss the most? I'm going to miss the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. of just being in high school, mingling with all your friends, because once you graduate, most of us will move here and go there, and you won't see unless we have a high school reunion. Mm -hmm. But most of my friends are moving on to bigger and better things, and I'll just miss the faculty and staff, just the whole atmosphere of the high school life. And you're going to miss sitting in the office probably because when I walked into <laughs> school today, and this I've mentioned this a few times during these interviews, it's picnic day. And I never had picnic day. I'm kind of jealous. Y'all are having been able to have a picnic in school now. I like picnics, but I walk in the office and you're sitting behind the counter. I wear. I, swear, I have office first period, and that's as my class. So I help with all the principals do all kinds of errands. I make packets, paperwork, fill the copiers up, just any little thing that they need help, and I've been doing that for two years now. Well, that's got to be the toughest class of the day with Joel Watson. <laughs> Making and, announcements yeah, every morning. Coach Williams in there and Eddie Morris, and I mean, that's got to be a tough <laughs> class now. I love them. They are so <laughs> sweet. You don't have to say that just because you're about to graduate. Is that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> they pick on me, but I still love them. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, and I love them too, so congratulations. Thank you. Okay, okay I have with me Tyler Lowe, and... Uh, you're last but not least, but it's picnic day. Now, I'm, I told somebody, well, I'm a little jealous about that. What is picnic day? Well, uh, today we have graduation practice, and mm -hmm. then after we do that and get it all straight, then we're going to go have a, a, a senior picnic. It's like we're going to have a water slide and some food and just mm -hmm. hang out and enjoy our last day. Where is that happening? We're not so sure yet. It's kind uh, of a secret uh -oh. location. <laughs> So all we had was Senior Skip Day back in the 70s, and have y'all already had that? Yeah, we have that on, uh, on prom day. Okay, tell me about Senior Skip Day. What happened? Uh, we just didn't come to school, or actually, I came to school <laughs> because I couldn't miss any more days in my first period class, so I had to show up that day okay. for a little while. <laughs> At least first period, huh? Right, yeah. One day exempt that final. Okay, and your dad uh, went to East Lawrence. It seems like everybody I've talked to, uh, at least one of the parents came here. You've got a rich tradition here. Uh, your father, I think, he was actually a valedictorian, wasn't he? That's right, he was. Okay. So has he been tough on you these high school years? Not really. I mean, he knows that um, I kind of took responsibility for my own grades mm -hmm. and my own actions, and he hasn't had to get on me too bad. And what kind of emotions are you having about graduation? I'm very excited to graduate and to uh, – to move on to the next stage of life in college and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And where are you going to college? Valdosta State University. Good. What made you pick Valdosta State? Um, I'm going in athletic training, mm -hmm. and they have the best program in the state, and I just love the campus, and I love the people down there. So. And you mentioned that. Uh, you know, recently in the news, not just at Valdosta State, but all over the country, we've seen people burning the flag and stomping on the flag. And as a young person, what is – that make you feel like to see someone disrespect the American flag? Um, honestly, it's kind of a um, hard emotion to describe. I f it feels it's very disrespectful towards something that, um, for what it actually stands for. And it's just, it's not, it's not the college, it's not the organizations, it's just a few bad apples That's in those right. places. That's right. And it just, and I, you mentioned that's what made me think of it, but it's all over the country and it's different age people, but you know, people like us, especially, you know, we both grew up here in Dublin, Georgia. We love the flag. We honor our country and God, and those things are important to us. So it's good to have young people like you. You can go out and, and spread that, you know, and teach other people. But what are you going to miss most about East Lawrence? Um, I'll probably miss my friends and the teachers the most. Um, 
we're all kind of family here. You kind of know everybody. You know when someone's not at school. So um, that's just the community and the friendship. I'm not going to ask you to name them all, but, you know, I've been out of school 36 or so years. I can still remember from first to 12th grade teachers, and, of course, in high school you have multiple teachers, but you, I still remember those teachers and what an impact they made on me personally. But looking back over the last 12 years, like I said, I don't want you to name them all, but who are some that made a great impact on you? Um, let's see. Um, Miss Mitchell was a math teacher for two years, first two years of high school. She really uh, – she was a really good teacher, and she did a good job preparing us for our tests and such. Um, Brad Lord, it was my English teacher in tenth grade. I really, he was a he's an awesome teacher, and Miss Newman, definitely um, my history teacher last year. Yeah, Miss Newman, great teacher, no doubt. Yeah, great history teacher. Last thing, graduation night. I know you've thought about it. What do you think it's going to feel like when you walk out across that football field in front of all those people? Honest, it's honestly I don't know. It's kind of some mixed emotions, um, excitement and fear and uh, sadness, kind of because you're leaving something you've been attached to for a long time. Thank you for joining us today. We've been here on the campus of East Lawrence High School, class of 2015. We've just talked to some of the seniors here, uh, just a handful of the 130 seniors here at East Lawrence High School. Just think out of 130 seniors, over 50 honor graduates. I know the administration is happy, the teachers are happy. What a great staff out of here at East Lawrence High School. A lot has changed here since I graduated at East Lawrence back in 1978. They actually have air conditioner in the schools now that we didn't have back then, and so much more. But just beautiful schools out here, and you heard these kids a little while ago. We have a great future, don't we? Great kids. Seems like sometimes kids get a tough break in life. Uh, they don't get the best press. We always hear about the bad apples. But you saw today some fine kids, class of 2015. How about that? Congratulations, kids, and congratulations to all the East Lawrence Falcons, class of 2015.